Do you know more about science than the average American? You thought I was going to say fifth grader. Well, I didn't. Uh, you can find out now with a Pew Research quiz that judges you against a representative sampling of the American populace and what they might know about science. Now, this is a sampling. The sampling is 1,006 randomly sampled U.S. adults presented with the same questions in the survey, collected in collaboration between Pew Research and the Smithsonian Magazine to see where do people stand on their knowledge of science. And you and I both took the quiz. Yes, we did. And we scored the same. Yes, we did. We got 12 out of 13 right. We both got the same question wrong. Yes, we did. And that is in the 85th percentile. That is a B. I want an A. I was okay with a B. I'm happy I only got <laughs> one wrong. Well, actually, the, the results are pretty promising, I think. The majority of people got 10, 10 out of 13, and closer to that is 11% of people got 8 out of 13, 11% got 9 out of 13, 10% got 11 out of 13, 8% of people are like us, the got 12 out of 13, so it's, it's pretty decent. Only yeah, a, f a small percentage got none of them right, and which I find good because some of the questions are really easy. Really easy, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do have a problem with the survey mm -hmm. in the sense that the, the right writing of it, the semantics of it, was way off. I think you're supposed to understand. I, I think it I'm was okay. I'm supposed to understand a poorly worded question? You just didn't like the punctuation. I didn't like it because it was wrong. Okay, it, that doesn't matter as much. I mean, if you are making a survey to gauge my intelligence, you should be smart enough to write the question right. I understood the questions, that's all you I'm saying. take that quiz and you tell me if you like the wording of the true and false questions because they're not right. All right, so this is at least a litmus test of uh, who is worried with semantics and that what Americans understand. What is a litmus test? What it, no, it's not. No, it should have been. Oh, that's what is a litmus test? That's an interesting science question. Sure. Yeah. Let's, let's gauge the pH of your knowledge. Uh, you can check see, it out now it and, sorry, <laughs> and see how you gauge yourself against, no, you can see how you fare against the representative of America in science and but more importantly how you fare against Kim there were many questions in this including all radioactivity is man-made is the statement true or false uh, electrons are smaller than atoms is the statement true or false some of them are pretty easy boom you just proved my point right there the one I got yeah okay it's worded weirdly but I so get what it. was the question that you said Kim which gas makes up most of Earth's atmosphere and I got the answer wrong. No, no, no. You're you're avoiding the question that I'm the point that I'm trying to make. What is the point you're trying to because make? Because when you read that question, you said, "Is this statement true or false?" But the way it's worded on there, it says, "This statement is," and then your options are true or false. Damn, it doesn't matter. Which this is about science. <laughs> All right. So maybe I'm smarter than most of American science, but I'm like way smarter than America in terms of English. Okay, great. I'm very proud of you.